What's up everyone? So today we're going to be reacting to Business Insider's video um, about uh, US Marine training. It's called What New Marine Corps Recruits Go Through in Boot Camp. Excited to get into this. It's about 16 minutes and 30 seconds long. So a little bit longer than usual, but it'd be nice to kind of get a bit of a deeper dive into their training and kind of compare it to what I, what I did. So uh, very excited for that. But before we get started, huge shout out to everyone in the Discord. You're all amazing, all of you to bits. If you want to join the Discord, link down below. Secondly, huge shout out to all these amazing people right here. These are my members. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to make these videos every single day. So thank you so much. If you want to become a member, there's a little join button next to the subscription button down below. Go and check it out. There's awesome perks depending on which tier you want to subscribe to. And then... I've got some awesome merch, guys. If you want to check out the merch, again, link down below. The merch is amazing. I'm actually going to be changing it up soon, so this merch won't be there for long. Um, so go and check it out while you can. Okay, so let me bring up the display. I think that's looking pretty good. I can get to the side here. All right, let's watch this. I'm excited. Oh, let me move this thing. Vice is completely gone. This is Marine Corps Boot Camp in Paris Island, South Carolina. Before they become United States Marines, all recruits have to graduate from the Marine Corps 13 week basic training program, which tests them physically and psychologically. It's a pressure cooker for 12 weeks. Under the pressure of an intimidating drill instructor, someone that's putting you under the scrutiny of attention to detail every single day, and to a certain degree, everything you do is never going to be good enough. 12 weeks. Everything I I've thought it would be longer than that. It's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. But it's only going to hurt more if you look at it that way. Around, around, around. It's boot camp, and it's supposed to prepare you for the challenges that lie beyond. No, no, no. We spent five days at Paris Island, where we saw different companies at various stages of training. You will not run, you will walk in on the yellow footprints right now. Right, you will do what you're told to do, what you're told to do it, and without question, do you understand? Yes, sir! On day one of boot camp, new recruits arrive at the receiving barracks, where they take their first steps toward becoming Marines by walking through these silver hatches symbolizing the threshold between the outside world and Paris Island. You walk through these silver hatches once and never again, do you understand? Oh, yes, sir. All the drill sergeants the lose the voice. I think that's amazing. Process <laughs> and assigned to their platoons. Put it up! Yes, ma'am! I know you were told us to come with your hands down! Put it up in a bus! In a bus! 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 I'm out! I'm out! After graduation, Marines commit to a minimum of four years of service. Upon entering the Corps, an entry-level private will earn around $20,000 a year. It's nothing, that is it. Recruits are required to make a phone call to a family member or their recruiter to let them know they've arrived. This is Recruit Hatch. I have five stations at Paris Island. We do not send any food or coffee or anything. They're only allowed to read the script printed for them inside the phone bank. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. Yes, sir. Get in the if I was a parent, I'd be laughing on the other end. <laughs> sucks not every recruit is able to make a connection if there is no answer hang it up and close it Aye, sir. but they won't have long to dwell on it the marine corps recruit depot in paris island sits on 8,000 acres of the south carolina low country it's one of two enlisted recruit depots in the united states it's a lot it of land in san diego where only male recruits are trained. Around 20,000 recruits graduate from Paris Island every year before joining the more than 180,000 Marines actively serving today. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. We take young men and women from all walks of life, all cultures. Maybe they were rich, maybe they were poor. They've got different religious backgrounds. They are the melting pot of America. And they come here with one common goal, and that's to be a United States Marine. Paris 
Island, South Carolina. Here, everyday Americans become Marines, the toughest fighting men in the world. Male recruits have been trained at Paris Island since 1915. Female recruits began to train there in 1949. Today, females comprise under 25% of recruits at Paris Island. That's awesome. And approximately 8% of the United States Marine Corps, the lowest percentage of any United States military branch. Hmm. A recruit's day begins before the sun comes up. Their typical wake-up call is 0400, or 4 a.m. Recruits endure an intense series of physical challenges. 4-3! Am I hearing that right? 4-3! Yes, sir! Fail! Some recruits arrive in better shape than others. Some never did anything more than sit on a couch you know, as a couch potato, and some may have been collegiate athletes. So there's a vast spread of what their athletic fitness and ability is. Aye, sir. Much of their training happens here in Leatherneck Square. Leatherneck Square. <laughs> a series of intimidating <laughs> obstacles comprised the confidence course. I sir. What did you say? I sir. I sir. I sir. The training program is progressive in nature. Starts out in a crawl, walk, run approach throughout training. 99.9% .9 of those that get here can complete all those requirements at the end of training, regardless of how they started. Let's lift it, please. Please help. I don't want to do this. I don't want No, I'm not. Please. Any recruit with a fear of heights gets the chance to conquer that fear, courtesy of this 47-foot tall tower. Recruits must rappel down using two different methods. For me, the rappel tower was hard because I sort of had a fear of heights. Grab a my right hand with your right hand. You have to trust the rope, so there's nothing to be worried about. You'll be safe all the time. Can you please help me? I'm trying to help you. I don't want to go down. Recruits with a phobia of heights have little choice but to face their fear. <laughs> One of the most dreaded parts of training is the gas chamber. Yep. Where recruits are exposed to CS gas, more commonly known as tear gas. I love the spray paint. The chamber, they so break cool. the seals of their gas masks. You go in, you feel it, instantly hit your skin, you just feel burning. Ah! Say something to me now! It feels like those few minutes felt like an hour. After around five minutes, the recruits are free. But the pain <laughs> endures. <laughs> Definitely you thank God for the fresh air. It's really nice to be able to breathe in and not feel an instant burning sensation. <laughs> Gas chamber is important because it builds confidence. Confidence in the gear, confidence in the drill shutters, and then confidence in themselves. Now, sir, watch. Recruits are trained in different styles of hand-to-hand -hand combat. First thing we want to see is that straight thrust. You understand? Yes, sir. Bust him. Excuse me, sir. Aye, sir. A key aspect of their martial arts training is fighting with pugil sticks. You killed that opponent. You understand? Aye, the pugil stick techniques are intended to mirror those used in combat while using a bayonet. Hmm. Here in the Marine Corps, we have a kind of a little ditty that means red is dead. So that red side is supposed to emulate the actual knife portion of the actual bayonet mounted on the weapon. 
So anything that you strike with that red tip, nine times of 10 are either gonna be incapacitated or laid to rest. Honesty is, it gives them an opportunity to blow off a little steam. <laughs> I like it. They have a I lot like of it. Up aggression, especially towards maybe their drill instructors. They're out there, they're actually doing what they feel like they signed up to do, which is learn how to combat the enemy. Recruits also practice with actual bayonets. <laughs> they have to say Marine every time. Although male and female recruits do intersect during training, platoons are separated by gender. And although the recruit depot has experimented with integration before, the Marine Corps is the only military branch that separates male and female recruits during basic training. According to the Corps, every Marine is first and foremost a rifleman. Recruits spend the bulk of two weeks devoted to marksmanship. The first of which sees few shots actually fired. First off is the fundamentals. They have to understand how to aim. They have to understand exactly how to breathe when they're taking that shot. They have to understand exactly how to squeeze the trigger and how to have follow through and recovery with a rifle. Combat operations is the foundation for every single Marine, regardless of what your occupation is. What it is to sit behind a rifle, look down that barrel, and be able to put lead on target. The Marine Corps is defined as an amphibious warfare force. Therefore, swimming plays a key role in training. Swim week, recruits go through numerous exercises in the pool while wearing their camouflage uniforms. But training at Paris Island isn't all physical. Recruits also spend long hours in the classroom. But what may seem like downtime can end at any moment. When a drill instructor decides to order an impromptu cardio session at Paris Island, it's what's known as getting slayed. Getting slayed. It's an experience. You realize the thing you've done to get in a sand pit, and then you realize, okay, that hurt, so let's not do that again. Physically it hurts, but me personally, I never worried about the pain I was feeling in my body. It was more thinking about the mistake I made and how I need to correct it the next time. So there's going to be some chaos. Because He's got some in, anger. We tear him down a bit, <laughs> and then we want to bring him back up in, in the mold of what it is to be a United States Marine. Crucible. Okay. Recruit training culminates in an event known as the Crucible. Over the course of 54 hours, with minimal sleep and food, recruits must endure realistic combat scenarios. The sounds of gunfire and shelling are played over loudspeakers mounted in the training area. Recruits are forced to work together to overcome obstacles and achieve objectives that require problem solving and strategy. That's cool. I like that. This is what we saw on the second day. The recruits had become exhausted and irritable. You start thinking, man, like, it's hot, I'm thirsty, my arms haven't felt this bad in my whole life. We're halfway there, come on. 
you just keep looking at the person to the left and right and you're like, well, he's doing it. I got to keep going. Uh, like, I'm not going to let him do it on his own. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So there's no reason not to push. Yeah. Once the crucible is complete, these recruits officially become Marines. day before graduation, friends and family see their new Marines for the first time in more than three months. That's cool. come down for graduation day that haven't seen their son or daughter in about three months immediately notice not only a physical but an intangible difference when they walk across that parade deck on train day 70 and they graduate they're no longer recruits they're marines meanwhile in the barracks of Lima Company. I'm talking to you. I know. All these weirdos right here. I know. All that trash out. I know. Brand new recruits diligently square away their racks before being warmly welcomed by their senior drill instructor. Sit up straight and look at me. Our mission is to train each one of you to become a United States Marine. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. We will. Give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up on yourself. Starting now, you will treat me and all other Marines with the highest respect. Physical or verbal abuse by any Marine or recruit will not be tolerated. My drill sergeant and I will be with you every day. Everywhere you go, you must give 100% of yourself at all times. Above all else, never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of recruit training and the opportunity to earn the title, United States Marine. Yeah! That was cool. That was cool. Alright, let me get rid of this. So, there's a few things I noticed there. So, the more I watch these videos about the US Marines, the more I realize that the only really thing we have in common, and I think a lot of people say this as well, is the name Marine. Um, the Royal Marines is a lot smaller. They, they, sorry, they are a lot smaller. There's only, I think there's usually like four to 5,000 at any one time. Um, and training, because of that, there's a lot less... Um, there's a lot less um, influx of people, so in a way, they're allowed to be the, the the instructors are allowed to be a little bit more intimate and a little bit more personal. Whereas as with this, obviously they're pushing through lads and girls left, right, and center, so they can they can do it more like more like a machine, if that makes sense. Um, a lot less shouting, like I've already gone over that before. A lot less shouting in the Royal Marines. Um, uh, the training in the Royal Marines is a lot longer. It's 32 weeks and uh, everyone has to go through that. So there is a lot of differences. And like I said, I think because we have a smaller amount of people, the the training is allowed to be harder in a way. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is easy because it's obviously really hard training. It's, it's still tough to get through. Um, but because we have less people and we can be more nitpicky, we can push it that little bit further um but it's really interesting to see it's interesting to see um certain certain things like when they were doing the the it wasn't like an obstacle course it was like a critical thinking course where they work as a team that was really cool i haven't seen anything like that before it's, it's nice to see them working as a as a cohesive unit um to to to, to get through tasks um the end goal of having that what was it called the crucible with that one one or two days of just hard training constantly that's really cool obviously very different to the commando course at the end that we have with the um the commando test and a 30 miler so there is a lot of differences but it is really interesting to see i would love to try some at some point i'm nowhere near fit enough and i wasn't nowhere near as fit as what i used to be in the royal marines but it's something that i would love to 
to go and have a look and go and try, but I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time to do it. I haven't got the energy to do it, but I would love to see it one day and go down there and give it a try. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting to watch, especially from the female female aspect as well, because that's not obviously something that's in the Royal Marines yet. I've just started to trickle that in and test it out. Um, but to see how they kind of, um, you know, go around having female Marines as well, where they put them in a different kind of um, unit per se, and they, they do their own training. It's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, that was a really good video. I actually really enjoyed that. I'd actually, I would love to learn more about um, the US Marines. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Again, before you leave, I want to give a huge shout out to all of these beautiful people right here. These are my members. If it wasn't for these guys and girls, I wouldn't be able to do this every single day. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, go and check out the merch. The merch isn't going to be up too much longer because I'm making new merch. So check it out if you want to go and see it. Uh, there'll be a link down below. And uh, yeah, I'm extremely tired. So I am going to play some Warzone and then head to bed. So take it easy, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.